What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. So I'm actually pretty excited to dive into a full review on this one. I got it recently. I've been spending a lot of time with it over the last couple of days. I'm actually wearing it currently currently again. Uh, I've worn it a good bit the last couple of days. And I'm finally ready to give you my full thoughts on the newest flanker in the Ralph's Club line. This is Ralph's Club Elixir. And it seems to be mixed feelings from a lot of people. Some think it's the best one, some say it's not as good as the Parfum, but I haven't seen anyone say that it's not better than the original, so we, we at least have that. And I'm not saying that hasn't happened, I just haven't seen it, but I want to give you my thoughts on it, so stay tuned. Take a quick look at the box, nothing special and spectacular, very in line with what the rest of them look like that have that textured yet carbon fiber look pattern to the print. Ralph's Club paneling says Elixir, it only comes in a 75 ml. Batch code info on the bottom, nothing special anywhere else in the box, some logos, a little bit of information, it's a box. Now as far as this bottle, this is a bit of a fingerprint magnet. Very deep, dark, smoked tone, but glossy at the same time, says Elixir at the bottom, has this Ralph's Club plaque as a plate in the middle. Again, you have batch code and all that good stuff on the bottom. Logo on the top. Now, it's, this isn't the strongest because it will pop open, but it is kind of like Zippo style with the cap, says Ralph Lauren going around. And it is a really good atomizer, which you do have the RL on top of the atomizer right here as well, but it is a really good atomizer, I have to say. Let's talk about this scent. So according to the brand, it's just incense, iris slash orris butter, patchouli, and lavender, which lavender is more of an herbal green aromatic tone to the lavender, which is the featured note across all three versions of Ralph's Club. So, if you look at other websites, they, they deep dive a little more with these other notes, but official notes from the brand are only four, but what you do smell, which I have it on my forearms, I have it around my neck, I get the smoky incense from the start, and the iris here is very earthy for being listed as orris, and on one side, I believe Parfumo said orris butter specifically, um, it's more, it ties into more of an earthy feel. It has more of that violet smell to it. Not really a rich powdery makeup bag type of iris. There's powderiness here, but it's not like typical designer level iris where it's that fantasy iris note that just smells like lipstick and makeup and just super waxy and powdery. Toned back greatly, it's more of an earthy feel to this iris. Like I said, it smells more like violet than it does iris overall, which more natural iris tends to do so. So that leads me to believe that they use the higher, I'm not going to say it's, natural Florentine iris, but it could be. It could be. It smells like they definitely used a cut above when it came to the, the oil choice for this one. So with that, the ingredients do smell of pretty high quality. I have to give it to them. It doesn't smell like a basic mid-level designer. It is 140 USD retail, which I've paid retail for all three versions. I bought them all upon within you know a couple days of release uh, because I was very excited from the very first one, even into all the way to the current third rendition, which you will smell a bit of the Parfum. The richness, the warmth, and a little bit of the smoky tone was in the Parfum, whereas this is much smokier. I don't even remember if Olabana was listed in the previous version, the Parfum, but it's definitely listed here, and it's very distinctive here. You get a distinctive incense smokiness. Um, the woody tones, that vetiver cedar wood feel, is still there from across all three versions and concentrations of this particular fragrance. Now, one thing we'll touch on in a little bit, it doesn't perform according to what we've come to expect with flankers listed as an elixir, which an elixir is not a concentration. It's a marketing thing. I'm sure it's a parfum concentration uh, because they don't give official oil concentrations on these fragrances from designers. But I will say if you like the parfum, but maybe want a more well-rounded, mature take on the scent profile, not quite as mass appealing and youthful, you'll like this. Now, do I think it's just all that better considering Iris is my favorite note? 
No, I don't think it's, you know, I think it's kind of neck and neck with the Parfum. I like them for different reasons. A more casual day, I like the Parfum. Work, Parfum. Evenings out, dressier occasions, that's where I think the Elixir shines because it's got more of a mature smell to it. And when I say mature, I don't mean old because it's much more woody, smoky, and floral, earthy floral at that. The patchouli doesn't really take over as it dries and you get into the woods, you get a little bit of this creamy patchouli feel. It's not really a chocolatey feel. That adds to the earthiness, but it's not. It's like two different stages of earthy tones because you have earthy floral, then earthy patchouli vetiver wood kind of smell in the deep dry down. But overall, I think this smells really, really good. It's pretty much what I expected it to smell like. Now, I didn't expect earthy iris. I expected more powdery typical designer iris so that was a pleasant surprise that I got a higher quality iris oil oris oil whichever you'd like to say oris is the root of the iris flower for those that didn't know this smells great now as far as performance this is where I think a lot of people got shocked by this one because we've been conditioned with things like Sauvage Elixir especially that's the most powerful named elixir flanker out of all of them in the designer market but 1 million elixir Lamal Elixir crazy powerful as well they're all just room filling strong crazy long lasting just overwhelming fragrances if you spray beyond just a few sprays just can be overwhelming as a wearing experience and for those around you especially if you like to spray heavy those it's crazy of you to spray those heavy here it's more subdued you get longevity so i've been getting around 10 hours with this one so safely i can tell you 8 to 10 but i think this I think really it's 10 plus because I've been taking showers around the 10, 11 hour mark and it's still been going with a nice thick richness to the sillage. So it does have a moderate sillage. I do get nice whiffs of it throughout the entire wearing. I wouldn't call it moderate to heavy where they're really strong whiffs, but it's a, a, you know, a step above what I would consider moderate to mild where it's just a faint whiff once in a while. No, I get nice little hits of it steadily as I make certain movements because I've been wearing four to five sprays around the neck and a spray on each forearm which I've been doing the five to spray five to seven spray range so really seven sprays and I think that's kind of a sweet spot for what I was looking for because projection isn't overwhelming I would say after about a good hour and a half it does calm down but that first hour and a half a little bit better than arms reach it's not a beast there's nothing beast about this I actually love the way this one performs it's a shock considering it's named Elixir, like I said before, but it kind of reminds me of just a, a more robust, just as far as the performance, more robust than the Parfum, whereas that was rich, loud for about an hour, and then it got pretty close to the skin, but it was very consistent. Here, loud for about an hour and a half, not as bright, but thick, a thick aroma that really pushes in the first hour and a half, and then the CI is, like I said, on the moderate side, it has a consistent thickness to the aroma that when you walk by people can smell it leaves room for discovery so after an hour and a half two hours when you walk up to somebody when you stop the CI is going to take a second but it'll probably get to them whereas you know like Savage Elixir for example that's going to pronounce right when you get there it's going to punch somebody in the nose because it's a, an aggressive projection this is not an aggressive projection. Not soft, like I said, it's pretty strong early, but it's not overwhelming. And I think that's a great thing for the scent profile and the way they've kind of written the story for the man that they market this to as far as all three versions of Ralph's Club. So I hope that makes sense to you guys. I tried to convey my thoughts as best as I could with the performance, because if you're looking for overwhelmingly strong, this is not it, not one of the versions of Ralph's Club Elixir is overwhelmingly strong, but here you get plenty of longevity, all day staying power with a nice consistent, thick enough without being annoying type of sillage. Final thoughts on Ralph's Club Elixir. I think this is a really good release. Again, I don't think it's necessarily better than the Parfum, but I don't necessarily think the Parfum is better than this. In my first impressions, I was, oh yeah, hey, the Parfums are better. But now that I've spent a little bit of time with it, I've spent a few days with it and let it develop and go through some wearings, I think they're kind of neck and neck. I don't really think one's better than the other. They suit different personalities uh, or maybe different situations for the same personality, if that makes sense, because it has gotten classier as they've evolved this scent profile and this particular fragrance line from Ralph Lauren. I think this is a great release. It's an 8.5 out of 10 for me, which, if I remember correctly, is what I gave the Parfum. 
I don't remember. I didn't look. I should have checked. It was 8 or 8.5, something like that. Give it, but I think this is a 7.5 out of 10 because I really liked when the Parfum came out. And I still really like the Parfum, but I like this just as much to wear in different situations. Dressier occasions, evenings, this works. Parfum is more of a year round. It's not too heavy, not too warm, but it does have a little bit of depth to it to where it works just for everything. It's kind of a slightly more elegant, mass appealing fragrance, whereas this dials up the elegance a bit more. And I think there's a lot of people that are really going to enjoy this. And then there's also going to be some people that just want to, oh my God, bro, I need them to smell me across the street and it melt their face performance. Those guys are going to be disappointed, but I think it's an 8.5 out of 10. Well, that's my thoughts and feelings on the new Ralph's Club Elixir. And until next time, do me a real quick favor. Go ahead and like, comment, subscribe. Because I do appreciate all the feedback. And I love hearing from you guys. So at the recording of this, the only places I've seen it available was Macy's and Ralph Lauren's fragrance website. I bought it from Macy's. I would encourage you to get out and try it, though. This is not a safe blind buy. From I mean, even for iris lovers, you might not be anticipating what it's actually going to smell like. You might think one thing and you get another. So I would encourage you to get out to Macy's and spray this one on your skin and spend a little time with it. Maybe get a sample, something like that, and let it evolve and develop so you can see how you really feel about it because it is pricey for a 75 ml designer fragrance from Ralph Lauren. It's 140 retail. It'll be better once it hit, hits disc. But even when it hits discounters down the line, it's still going to be a $100 fragrance, maybe a little more. So keep that in mind. So if it interests you, Get out and try it and see if it's worth your money. See if it's worth adding to your wardrobe and your collection. And until next time, I will say, if you get your hands on Ralph's Club Elixir, give it a spray now. Might end up thanking me later. Have a good one, guys.